Hi friends, it's story time again. And the net title of our story today is called The Three Bears. Show me three with your fingers. One, two, three. See my three fingers? Like the three bears. Let's count the three bears. One, two, three. There's three bears in this family. And I wonder what about, what are the bears doing? Hmm, where are they going in the story? Hmm, are they walking? Let's find out. Where are they going? Looks like they're walking somewhere. Here's the title page. The Three Bears. And the arrow is going that way. That means we need to turn the page. Come on, let's go visit the three bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears that lived in the woods in their own home. See? Do bears really live in a house like that? No, they don't. The story we're reading today is called a fairy tale. It's not true. Somebody came, had a bright idea and they just made up the story. Mr. Paul just made up the story. So bears really don't live in houses. They live in caves. Okay. See the owl? The owl lives in a hole in the tree. Bears really don't live in a house. Like you and I do. So this is a story tell. It's not true that bears, and that's actually happening. It's, it's a made up story. That's what a fairy tale is. Okay. <gasps> in the house, there was a little tiny bear, a medium-sized bear, and a great big papa bear. Did everybody do their three bears? Remember the three bears? I told you to color and put on the stick. Well, guess what? I don't have my three bears with me, but I actually have three bears. A great big bear for papa bear, and a medium-sized bear for mama bear, and a teeny tiny bear for the baby bear. So I have three bears to represent them. Okay? So let's find out what happens to the story and to the bears in the story. Let's find out. They each had their own bows to eat. A little bow for baby bear, a medium-sized bow for mama bear, and a great big bow for papa bear. And they each had their own chairs to sit in. A teeny tiny chair for baby bear, a medium sized bear, I mean medium sized chair for mama bear, and a great big chair for papa bear. And they all love to read stories. And they even have three beds for the three bears. A little tiny bed for baby bear, a medium sized bed for mama bear, and a huge big bed for papa bear. Well, this morning, mama has decided to make porridge for the three bears. It's like hot soup. It's just too hot, said papa bear. We, let's go for a walk while our soup cools down. See the hot air bellowing out of their soup bowls? It's just way too hot. So they are going for a walk in this forest. While they went for a walk, a little girl with golden long hair came. Her name is Goldilocks. She was picking flowers in the, in the forest and she got lost. And now she's hungry, so she's looking for a place to come and rest. She peeps through the window. Nobody's home. She looks through the keyhole, the teeny tiny keyhole, through the door, and nobody's home. She knocked on the door. Nobody was home. So guess what? She opened the door and she helped herself. She went right in. And when she went right in there, she saw 
three big three bowls of soup a great big bowl of soup here a medium-sized bowl right here and a teeny tiny bowl here Ooh, how many people how many people do you think lives in this house one two three because i see three bowls of food here oh goldilocks is so hungry <gasps> She what? She went and ate their food. Look at her. She went into a stranger's house. We don't go in a stranger's house. Now she just helped her herself right to some food right now. Look at her. Ay yeah, yay, look. She tried the great big bowl. And she was woo! It is too hot. She tried the medium sized bowl and she was woo! Too cold. And she tried the tiny, teeny bowl, and she ate it all up. She was, mmm, it's perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. She ate it all up. Because, oh my goodness, my feet is aching. I'm going to find myself a place to sit down. She went to the living room, and she saw three chairs. She tried on the, she sat on the great big chair it was too hard she was ooh. then she went and tried the medium sized chair and it was too soft then she went to try the little tiny chair and it was just right and she rocked back and forth back and forth and plop she fell on the ground oh no the chair gave way i think golden lock is too heavy Then she got up because oh oh well I'm so tired. Oh, I'm gonna find myself a place to sleep for a little bit. She goes to the bedroom and she sees a great big bed <clears throat> and she sleeps on it. And she goes, Oh my gosh, this bed is too <clears throat> hard. She goes and tried the medium-sized bed, and she said, this bed is too soft. Oh, my goodness, I'm sinking in. Then she tries the little tiny bed, and she just, so, oh, this feels just right. And she went to sleep. While she's sleeping, the three bears came home. Oh, here comes the three bears. Get out your three bears if you have three bears. <gasps> Papa Bear came in. He goes, I smell something fishy around our house, Mama. And she he goes to grab his great big bowl of syrup of soup and he says, Somebody's been eating my soup. Or porridge. And the mama bear goes, Oh my goodness! Someone has been eating my porridge. Oh my lord. Then Baby Bear goes to his bowl of soup and she says, Someone ate all my soup. Oh. And Papa Bear, he's sniffing. Bear's got a really good nose. He's sniffing around. He goes, Oh, let's go check the living room, said Papa Bear. So they go to check the living room. And Papa Bear looks at his chairs all messed up. And he goes, somebody has been sitting on my chair with a great voice. Mama Bear goes to her medium-sized chair and said, someone has been sitting on my chair too. Baby Bear goes to his little chair and says, Mom and Dad, somebody broke my chair. Oh, he's so sad. He's looking at it. Look, my chair is all broken. Honey, let's go to the bedroom because I smell something fishy around here for, sh for reals. Papa Bear goes to his big bed. 
when Papa Bear goes, Someone has been sleeping on my bed. Mama Bear goes to her medium-sized bed and says, Someone has been sleeping on my bed, too. Baby Bear goes to his bed and says, oh, Mommy and Dad, quickly come here. Someone is sleeping in my bed. <gasps> While Goldilock was still asleep, she dreamt that the three bears had came home and that she was in the three bears' home. She heard some commotion and she winked, opened up her little one eye and she saw, oh my gosh, there's how many bears? One, two, three bears staring at her. Staring means are looking straight at her. And they're not even blinking. Oh my goodness. She got so frightened. I wonder what she did. Let's find out. Let's turn the page. Ready, ready? She, oh my goodness. She ran out the door as fast as she could, could and ran through the forest. And back to her home. Thank goodness she she got home. She ran home. Oh, no one knows what happened and why this little girl is in their house. But as for the three bears, they ne she they never saw Goldilock came to visit anymore. The baby bear said, "I just want to play with her." Oh, do you think bears can play with human people? No, remember? We don't play with big, wild animals. Bears are not um, pets. They are wild animals. We cannot play with them. They can hurt us. Okay. Can you tell Ms. May what sizes are the bear? What size is Papa Bear? What size is Mama Bear? And what size is Papa and the Baby Bear? Okay. Can you respond back on Learning Genie for Ms. May? And how many bears are there? Okay, I'll see you on the next story.